Hey, what's happening, guys? Check this out. We've done a bunch of 3D uh, printer videos, as you well know. And I've been playing around with this um, metallic-looking, silky, shiny filament. So, I'm, different brands I've tried. I like this one. This is from uh, G-Tech. And this is the uh, silver one. And I printed a, just, a, just a bunch of stuff, and it's come out really, really well. And luckily enough for me anyway, and hopefully for you too, G-Tech got a hold of me uh, a while ago and asked me if I'd be interested in trying out some of their filament. And they sent me a list of what they had available, and I said, sure, send me some and I'll play with it. So they sent me four boxes. You see three here. We'll get to where the fourth one is in a minute. So I just got some green PETG, some glow-in-the-dark green PLA, and uh, this one, I think, is going to be cool because I've been printing out a lot of um, Christmas stuff to give away to family members, you know, little gifts and things, and have them do a lot of painting. Well, this is, I know it might look a little yellow in camera, but it is uh, supposedly skin tone for a Caucasian. So we're going to give that a try. Yeah, matte skin color. All of these filaments are available on Amazon, which is where I bought, you know, the first three rolls of the uh, G-Tech that I use. And what's really nice about it, look at this packaging. They give you a nice plastic bag to store the rolls on when, you know, you switch colors or you have to print something else, you know. So that's pretty nice. They aren't, um, they aren't vacuum bags, but you put a desiccant in there. You know, do your best to seal it up, and it should probably come out pretty good. So, what about that fourth box? Well, it's high-speed white PLA. Let's go over to the uh, printer and take a look at it now. So here is the one kilogram roll of the high-speed white PLA, and I'm using it on my Elegoo... Uh, Neptune 4 Pro and we're going to print out Elegoo's included file the 18 minute Benchy and we'll see how that does Well, <laughs> it seems we've had an unplanned early finish to our model, but that is okay because that had nothing to do with the filament. That has to do <laughs> with pushing it as absolutely as fast as it could possibly go. So let's, uh, let's go back over and we'll take a look at it in a couple of other projects. All right, let's look at the Benchy here first. I wish we'd gotten a little further before we had our unplanned ejection, but um, looks where we want to see was how, how well it strings. You can see this thing is printing at just as fast as that machine will go, which is very close to 500 millimeters a second. And uh, look at that. For 500 millimeters a second? That came out great. Now, here's some of the silver that I had done earlier. This is that GTEC Silver Silk PLA, and it came out really pretty. So there's one snowflake, and there's another one. This one had a little issue right here. Again, that's the printer, not the filament. The filament is just beautiful you really can't see well maybe you can't see how just how nicely that sparkles so I have one more print on the high-speed white right here 
I made a snowman because my aunt in the nursing home loves snowmen, so we're going to take her a snowman for Christmas. And I printed it on the high speed white. All of this is printed in high speed white, and you know, then I did some painting. But if you look at the hands closely, you can see I didn't really cut off probably enough of the strings. I mean, I'm going to do that before I take it into her, and I got to do a little touch up painting once I get all these strings off. But I, my uh, standard retraction on um, the Neptune 4 Pro is a half a millimeter at uh, a retraction rate of 0.45. I ended up having to go up to 0.8 to get rid of uh, the string and a couple of other things. So just be aware of that. But the, the print itself, the quality, this was printed at about 300 millimeters a second. You can see there's no uh, there's no problem with layer adhesion or under extrusion. Every layer looks really good. Yeah, this this G Tech filament is really really nice. Alright, here we have our little cubey cube. And as you can see, we still have a little bit of stringing. I'm trying to see if it's on. Yeah, it, it is on all sides. But not so much on the top. The corners are good. The brim separates easily. First layer looks good. Like we had a little little garbage there. So I have one more I want to show you. I printed this one this morning. A little Christmas scene. Another one I'm going to take to my aunt in the nursing home. Other than trimming off the brim, I've done nothing to this one. So I think it looks pretty good. So, like I said, these uh, G-Tech filaments are available on Amazon for really good prices. Let me check what the price of this high-speed uh, PLA white is. Hang on one second. So, depending on which color you're looking for, they're available between like $13.99 and $17.99. There's about a $4 window there. I think it's pretty reasonable. So I would like to thank G-Tech for sending this filament out. And yes, you're going to see the other filaments. I can't wait to play with the uh, glow-in-the-dark green. I've never printed glow-in-the-dark before. And yes, I have a hardened nozzle for it. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.